for the last weeks, I keep on getting asked questions. How are we supposed to make this Yom Tov meaningful? How are we supposed to make that Yom Tov meaningful? And these are all very good questions. Honestly, of all the Yom Tovim over these weeks, I think the best question, the hardest question, is the Yom Tov now that we're coming to. Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah. Rosh Hashanah, with Shul, without Shul, the davening is very meaningful. Person has a shofar. Yom Kippur, the davening, the fasting. Sukkot, it's hard to find a sukkah for many of us, but you somehow figure out a sukkah, a little of an esrog. What is Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah? For the vast majority of us, the most meaningful part of Shmini Atzeres and Simchas Torah is not happening this year. It's Simchas Torah. It's, it's the hakafos, the singing, the dancing, the, the special aliyahs, the beautiful kiddushes. Almost none of that is happening, certainly not in our shul and in many other shuls. So how is someone to relate to this coming Yom Tov? There's not even any special mitzvos. So the truth is, this question that I'm posing to you is a question from so, such a long time ago. The idea of Simchas Torah is a relatively recent innovation in the span of the history of Kalal Yisrael. It's been around for a very long time. But the Torah doesn't talk about making Simchas Torah and Shmini Atzeres. It's actually a very strange thing. There's no special mitzvah for Shmini Atzeres at all from the Torah. No Lulav and Esrog, no Sukkah. Even the Korbanos, the offerings brought on Shmini Atzeres, are simpler than the rest of Sukkot. And Rashi brings down the famous Medrash. I'm sure many of you have heard this Medrash before. That it, God says to the Jewish people, Kosha Olai Predaschem. It's difficult for me to see you go. It's like a mushal of, of a king and his subjects. Before you leave, obviously the Jewish people had come to, to Yerushalayim for the pilgrimage holiday of Sukkot. Before you leave, make a small feast with me, a small meal with me, so we can celebrate together. That's the idea of Shemini Atzeres at its core. Not Simchas Torah. Simchas Torah is a very nice add-on to Shemini Atzeres. Shemini Atzeres at its core is the closure of the entire Yom Tov season. And it's not supposed to have any special things. It's supposed to be a time to reflect on one's relationship with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. It's going to be a very different Yom Tov than the vast majority of us are used to. But there'll be much more opportunity to reflect this time. Think about it. Think about over these past weeks, if you've had a moment of inspiration, if you've had a moment of determination that you want to be better, if you've had a moment of gratitude to God for something, try to strengthen that thought and that feeling. And then we're giving ourselves something to take with us moving on from the Yom Tov season. Have a wonderful Yom Tov and Hatzlacha Rabbah. Take care.